The school project with the children of Afghanistan and the children of America is an experiment for me because I want to learn what is the lesson for American children in doing this. Is the lesson just that they have more money and they can give money and it, it can change things over there? That's not the lesson I want them to learn. Um, money is a part of it. That should be done because it can be done, but that's not the lesson I want these children to learn. I want these children to learn uh, to acquire a curiosity, to acquire uh, a passion for learning about people of other cultures. So I have to tell you that being able to take your, picture, your letters over is one of the um, most outstanding special things that I got to do while I was over there. So I really appreciate you doing that. Do you have any questions real quick before I start? Yeah, please. Do most of the people in where you went in the community you went to um, have the same religion? Or do they yes, have most of the people in the country have the same religion, which is Islam. Yeah. Did Afghanistan change from when you went to when you were living there when you were a child? Very much so. It was during the time I was gone, buildings got built and then buildings got bombed. When I grew up there, there was electricity there. There was water, running water there. In the part of town that we were in, we were all on generators and, and there was no water for most of the people. Yeah. Did you see where you lived? Yeah, my first the house I lived in was bombed and was was leveled, and the other two houses were still uh, upright. Now, can I just keep your questions? And I'm going to show you the video because I know you're going to have more questions. <laughs> this is the classroom. Can you see they're all sitting on the ground? The people sitting up in front are the people like me who have come to read your letters. And there they are. They're all sitting on the ground. The gentleman who's talking right now is talking in Dari. He grew up in Afghanistan. He left during the war when he was 15 years old and then grew up in America. He's called an Afghan American, which means he has an American citizenship. And this was his first time back since he uh, left as a refugee when he was 15 years old. So what he's doing right now is he's explaining to the children why the heck we're there, which they're all wondering, right? Who are these people and why are they there? And would you like to read a letter? And you translate it? Yes, I'll translate. Dear friend. Dost Aziz. Hello, friend. My name is Hannah. Mega salam. Esmo ma Hanas. I am in the fifth grade and my hobbies are riding horses, baseball and soccer. Mega mada sanf panjom astam wa baad az maktab shauq ma yis ke amray aspa bazi bokonam, chi bokonam football bazi bokonam. What are your favorite hobbies? Mega shoma chi sati de khosh darin. What kind of food do you have where you live? Mega chi rakam ghazar shoma mekhrein da jayi ke zindagi mekhrein. I hope you have lots of fun over there. Sincerely, Hannah. Did you hear that, Hannah? Who's Hannah? Is that you? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Dear friend, most Aziz. My name is Harrison. My Harrison. I like to read and draw. I also like to play lots of sports. sport what do you like to do for fun? I'm in the fifth grade and I'm ten years old. Good luck in your future. Sincerely, Harrison. Dear friends, Hello, my name is Colin. Salam, no ma Colinas. This weekend I had a lot of fun with my brother. And I stood up on a log balanced on a swing. It was fun. What do you do on the weekend? Have fun and have a super day. <laughs> Sincerely, Colin.
by Trump Colin. Now this team is not out of the Afghanistan. The teacher said uh, what they do over the weekend, they said they bring water to their houses. He says they don't have a lot of time for leisure activities because when they're not in school, they're working. Kinesh na mekula khatao ina. Oh, no, these, are, these are all the students that are interested in writing letters. I would like to know what the dreams and hopes are of these children. What would they like to be when they grow up? Sure, sure. Would any of them like to answer that? Sure. May I ke khanum may pursa may ke barama gufta may tanin ke bakhair kalan shawin or rozo may tan chias ke chime khain shawin chime khain da dunya da shta boshan ina. She wants to be doctor. She introduced herself and uh, she said she's in the second grade and she wants to be a teacher. Doctor. Doctor, Oh, my she, she started with saying in the name of God, the most merciful, the most gracious. She introduced herself and then she said that um, she wants to be a doctor when she grows up. Yeah. So, um, is it different than you expected? What I'm showing you, is it different than you expected? Yeah. Can somebody tell me about that? Yeah. I thought it would be like more stuff on the ground, so I wouldn't, it looked like it was kind of uncomfortable to sit there. Like it was. on like the little thing and then the cement. Yeah. I thought that um, they would probably have like desks and chairs and stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of shocking to see how kind of d dirty it is and stuff like that. I was expecting um, a lot smaller age range because I saw kids there that might have been in kindergarten, but I saw also teenagers. It yeah. was really surprising. Yeah. Because the, the education has been so disrupted by the war, you'll find older kids in younger grades, you know. Do you guys remember what the purpose of your letters were? Can somebody tell me what the purpose of your letters were? Yeah. Um, to give people um, the, a friend. To give people a friend. Why is this important? Why is this valuable? Anybody know? Maybe because since it sounds like it's a lot they're really restricted over there. They can't do what they want to do. And maybe to give them, like, the feeling that somebody cares or something like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful way of saying it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to distribute these letters. Now, these letters are going to be a little odd because they ha are written in Farsi, in Dari. And there's no translation to them yet. But there is, you are going to have a name. And then I have a friend here uh, in Seattle named Ajmal. And he's agreed to translate the letters and come back with me when you guys are ready and just give you the, tr the English version of your letters. Now, here's the really cool thing. I'm going back in January. And what I would love to do is take your next set of letters back. If that's all right with you, and so that you can really correspond. All right, you guys, it's such a pleasure. You're so good. And they're all yours, Mr. K.O. Maddox. It's been an honor to, to be able to share in this project, and I think um, we planted some seeds. Yeah, And I don't think we're finished. <laughs> um, okay, good. Let's uh, give Marnie and her mom a wonderful hand. Thank you very much. I didn't know any thing about the kids in Afghanistan before um, Marty came. All I knew is that they were somebody else far across the world. I thought about the kids in Afghanistan um, pretty much that they were very brave since the, um, a lot's been going on there and that, um, that they're just regular kids. They seem nice from the letters that they wrote us and the pictures that they drew for um, us in America, and it was really cool. So I think they're just the same as us. American kids, all they have to really work is like feed the dog and clean their room and clear the table. But Afghan kids have to like take adult jobs like weaving carpets and stuff. They seem kind. They seem friendly, as we saw in the video. Sometimes um, I kind of take stuff for granted. Like when I get up in the morning, sometimes I'm like, I don't want to go to school today. And then there's kids that can't go to school, but and they don't have the opportunity to that really want to. I think I can learn from them that you don't have to have a lot to be happy. 
I feel the need in this project for um, just ordinary children to be able to give to and be a part of the rest of the world. I don't feel like we feel like we're a part of the rest of the world. And I think that's a problem. It's a tragedy that we don't. I think it's our loss that we don't. I'm exploring the ways that the friendship makes a difference. Okay, who would like Katie as a pen pal? Oh. Um, I think uh, the sense of I can't make a difference is a luxury and it does not bear out in reality. There's plenty of precedents for people with no money making huge changes in life. I have one pet. It is a bird. It laid four eggs. Dear Alia, how have you been? I have been great. My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and baseball. be your child of Afghanistan like many others in America who care about you I believe in your dreams and in your hopes for your future and the hopes that you have for your family friends and country as you look to the night sky and gaze at the stars may you have a star that is special to you when you gaze upon that star remember that I see it also when you feel lonely scared or worried may you look to your star and know that it will reflect back to you your hopes and dreams remember that I will be wishing on that same star and working with a world of others to see that your dreams come true